everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Black History Month. Even though it's seven days a week, 365 and 66 count in a leap year all day every day. This is my African American Women in History series. Um, I hope that you all enjoy these looks that I'm going to be portraying and definitely take the time to look at these amazing women. Some of them you may know and some of them you may not know so definitely check them out. I will leave links below to more about their history and if you like this and want to see more of these kind of things don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and donate to the Bougie blog so that we can keep this going. I love you all, thank you all so much and enjoy! No, but the question is more how do you get there? You get there by confrontation, violence? Oh, is that the question you were asking? Yeah. You see, that's, I mean, that's another thing. When you talk about a revolution, most people think violence. Um, without realizing that the real content of any kind of revolutionary thrust lies in the, in, in the principles and the goals that you're striving for, not in the way you reach them. Hey y'all! Hey everyone! This is the Angela Davis makeup tutorial. I'm going to be focusing on my face and eyes. So to start off, I'm going to be priming with the Laura Mercier primer. And then moving on to foundation, I'm using my favorite and only foundation, Becca Cosmetics in the color Mink. And then for setting powder, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep. For my eyebrows, now Angela has thicker brows, so I'm just going to first um, comb them out using this little wand. And then going with this eyeliner pencil, I'm going to just darken my brows. So this is just a black simple eyeliner pencil from the dollar store. And I'm just going to make them look a little bit thicker. And then just comb that out. So this is um, an NYX or NYX um, eyebrow gel. So I will put down, put the link in the description down below, but this is called Control Freak, I believe. And I just use that to further define the hairs in my brows. And then I'm just gonna go in with that same eyeliner pencil and um, just line the outer corners of my eye. Not really creating a cat wing, but kind of sorta, but just to sort of define my eyes. And then I'm going to carry that down into my waterline to bring them out a little bit further. And then using that same brow gel, I'm just going to fluff out my lashes just to kind of look like hers. Her, she has really beautiful long lashes, so I didn't want to put mascara on. I just wanted to make this as neutral and natural as possible. Alright, teeth time. So Angela has this beautiful gap which I was not blessed with so therefore I had to draw it in with eyeliner and it was kind of a fail and I kind of look crusty so whatever. So I'm going to use now my wig. This is the Jumbo Afro Wig by Bobby Boss in the color number one and I'm going to just put that on, fluff it out in style. Grab your favorite orange turtleneck and your best mom jeans. I got these from the this store so that was an awesome buy. And you are ready to go. Activism, activate. Thank you all so much for watching and definitely stay tuned for more. Bye.